With painting, it's a release of control. It's a letting go of trying to control what is happening around me or within me. I was working part-time and it felt like kind of a safety net to me. It felt like I had the choice, like I could just go all into this and maybe I could just do just as well or better. But I was struggling with a lot of doubt at the time. You know, I have two kids, I'm married, so there's like this weight of responsibility of like, dude, are you, you're 33 years old, but what do you think you're doing? Stepping out and pursuing art as a living, being an artist, it just seemed like so contrary to what you're supposed to do at this age. I needed to take this leap of faith. I couldn't stop thinking about it. All I could do was think, man, if I don't do this, I'm gonna regret not taking this step the rest of my life. There's this natural aspect of life and death in the work in itself. You create the work, but it's not eternal. It's not gonna last forever because there's just that duality or that conflict with creation process, but also the, that dying process. The different materials that I use, concrete and clay, they harden to like this hard material. It's a challenge to utilize these materials and then try to make them into something beautiful. My biggest passion is to inspire other people. I think a lot of people go through life ignoring those questions that we all have. Or we lay in bed at night and think, well, maybe there is something. Life can't just be doing this forever. That's what I hope that my life, not just my work and my art, but also my life would inspire people to discover that for themselves.